Hello! This is the first time I have been able to properly film in a hot minute. I tried to film a bunch of videos, they have either gotten messed up or something has happened that has prevented me from filming, but here we are finally with my April empties on, I think it's May 10th. Yay! Okay, so let's get into it. I definitely spent a lot more than I intended to this month, but uh, here we go. Spent a total of $138.67. My Ipsy, my Scentbird, always, but I'll still go over the cost of those. Ipsy is $15.99, Scentbird is $27.99. I did put in an order with Bath and Body Works that was $45.69. Uh, nice. Uh, and I got a ColourPop mystery box, mystery box, which was $49, bringing the total to stuff that I purchased to $138.67. Okay, so we're gonna go down the list and go into what I finished. Uh, I was so close to failing this month, by the way, just so y'all know. I finished a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer, $1.95, this is the, can you focus? Focus, nope, it's not going to. It is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. There is a little bit here in the bottom. I can never get out that tiny little bit and I don't wanna fuddle with trying to figure out how to get the cap off to get it, so that tiny little, Bitty bit in the bottom is uh, just there. So the next thing on my list that I finished is Lush Body Wash. This is, now I know that this is not what I paid for it for the price, but this is the price that I found on their website. 25 bucks for a eight ounce of body wash. This is Lord of Misrule. Uh, you can see there's a little bit that like got sedentary on the bottom of it from sitting in my empties drawer. Uh, I love this scent. Took me, I think, two years to finish it, so it was technically expired when I finished it, but you know, whatever. Yeah, uh, best used by uh, January 22nd, 2023, and I finished this April of 2024, but that's okay. Uh, at least I think so. If I die, well, here's your evidence. I used this a year past its expiration date, but Lord of Misrule is so nice and I wasn't going to throw it out just because... I hadn't finished it yet because this is such a wonderful scent. Anyone who knows knows it's one of their more popular scents. Next thing down on my list, concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly, which I think is their lightest shade. It looks like there is so much in it, but there it is. This thing's empty. It looks like it's got stuff in it. A lot of that is like dried out and caked on to the, out, uh, the outside of the tube. It's gross. Let me see if I can... I cannot physically show you how the inside is crusty and dried out, uh, but the inside is crusty and dried out, and it's nasty. So there we go. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, that's uh, $32. I bought a little bit of a cheaper concealer this time. Not by much, but it's a little bit cheaper. I got the Tarte Shape Tape, whatever other really super popular concealer there is. Um, next thing down is shampoo. Y'all knew this was coming, if at least if you watch me, there's their Cucumber and Mint Volumizing Shampoo. Native is my go-to for uh, shampoo and conditioner. I do enjoy it. I don't have any issues with it on my hair, but I know of other people who have, so, you know, everyone's hair is different. $9.99. There we go. Body spray. I finished this uh, Bath and Body Works Pinkberry Clouds. Again, there is just this teeny tiny little bit of dredges in the bottom that won't come out. Pink Berry Clouds. Uh, the scent is Strawberry Spun Sugar, Marshmallow Fluff, and Fresh Air. It's a very nice, fruity fragrance that's great for layering. Uh, this is $16.50, which anyone who knows with Bath & Body Works, I go by what is marked on the bottle, not their current pricing online, even though I know that their current body sprays are selling for like 19 bucks. Yay, inflation! Next thing down on the list is Scentbird, so we're just going to pick a vial and see which one this is. This first one is uh, a Tat Libre de, de Orange or Eldo. Everyone calls it different things. You or someone like you. This one. Okay, this smells like toothpaste. Can you focus? You focus? Will you focus? Uh, that's as good as it's gonna get. Um, kind of spearminty, kind of, kind of toothpastey. I did tend to pair it with the Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint because you know, spearmint mint. Why not? It's okay. It's not one I would ever purchase a full size of. 
Of course, uh, $21.95 is what Scentbird values their vials at, and the next thing on the list is another Scentbird, which this is Michelle Germain Paris, uh, Sexual Floor. This one. This one is a very, uh, what I would consider a gender-neutral scent. Uh, I paired it. It's very light. I tend to pair it with very light scents a lot, which, uh, here we go. This one that I had finished, that I already talked about, is something I would pair it with a lot. I feel like I am fast talking and speed running through this this time because this has only been five minutes and normally uh, I'm a lot further in than this at this point in time. Oh well. So the next and the last thing on my list is body wash which is yet another thing I've mentioned. Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint. I love this scent. I adore this scent. This is one that I end up repurchasing every single time it comes out at Christmas time. Either the body spray or the body wash because I cannot be out of either thing, you know? The scent is Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, Fresh Basalm, and Vanilla Buttercream. It's just, it's so clean and fresh and pepperminty and sweet and candy at the same time. It is, it, it's a gourmand peppermint. It's not a peppermint, it's a gourmand peppermint. If that makes any sense. <laughs> um, okay, so the total all oh, right, that was valued at $13.50. Uh, the total, tiny little mini drum roll here, of the items I finished, $142.84. Which given that I spent $138.67, I very barely, by the skin of my teeth, uh, made out of this the way I wanted to. But you know, the goal is always to finish a value of more than you purchased, and I did that. Absolutely did that. Only by like $3 and some change, but I still did it, so it's still a success.